Hi, Shalom, Labaquayim, Shayah Shala. Peace to the Lord's elect. I want to begin this lesson by giving the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I have salutations to all my fellow laborers out there. Peace, blessings, and mercy to the house of David. All right, double honors to the head apostles and elders. And this lesson is going to be entitled The First Resurrection. You see, when we tell people uh, the words of the Heavenly Father, all right, the, the prophecies, and you know, we prophesy doom and gloom, destruction, and pestilence the sword, and these different things, people say, well, what are you going to do? And it, the thing is, we don't know what we're going to do. All we have is our trust and our faith, all right, and our belief in the scriptures, all right, and we know that the things written aforetime are written for our learning, all right, that through the, matter of fact, let's go ahead and um, get that real quick, because I want to use that to segue into the scriptures I want to bring out. This is Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right, so the things written aforetime is, is written for our learning. Now, we know that in past time that there have been men that have not tasted of death. They were translated. They were taken up. So when these things come on the earth, all right, we, we're going to look to the things that have happened before time. And then according to as it is written, all right, there'll be some here that won't taste death. Now, let's start there in uh, St. Matthew, the 16th chapter. All right, verse 27, it says, For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. All right, the second coming of the Lord, he's coming back in a in a in a huge chariot. All right, the the prophet Ezra described the chariot as a mountain. It's going to be a very large chariot that the Lord is going to come back on, all right, with the angels, and he's going to give rewards to every man according to his works, and the, and that reward is going to be either salvation or destruction. All right, verse twenty eight. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death, till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Now back then. Did the Son of Man, you know, come come in his kingdom? No. Yahweh Shai, the kingdom of heaven was not instituted 2,000 years ago when the Lord was here. And all of those men died, right? So this is a scripture uh, alluding to what we call reincarnation, all right, or regeneration. All right, because the Lord was speaking, he was saying that it, there would be us believers here today that will not perish until the Son of Man comes all right there's people walking this earth right now that's not gonna die all right outside of the martyrs all right that are written of in revelation the 20th chapter which i'm gonna go into that are right, you gonna have a, a large portion of believers that go straight into the kingdom of heaven all right the first resurrection Revelation, the 20th chapter, verse 4, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. And we're coming into those times where having this testimony uh, is going to be life-threatening. And you're going to have some people, all right, the martyrs, that are going to have to lose their life all right, to fulfill this scripture. It says, And for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Now, what is this going into? It's going into when the Lord comes, all right, those that are still alive are going to be taken up. They're going to be changed at an instant, get those new bodies. I right, pursuant to 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. All right, then they're going to come back down after a certain amount of time as the elector or crown pursuant to Second Edges, the second chapter. They're going to come down off the chariots pursuant to Revelation, the 21st chapter. And that's when that, that new dominion begins. That's when the kingdom of heaven begins because the uh, new Jerusalem, all right, the, the upgraded Israelites, they get delivered, they get beamed, they get taken up. They're going to come down and they're going to reign on the earth. They're going to go round up. Uh, these different kings of the earth, these different uh, Edomites and Amalekites and Moabites and wherever they at. And we're going to round them up and, and take their asses, put their asses in chains and, and put them into uh, captivity. All right. So for the next thousand year period from that moment, that's going to be this earth getting uh, built, put back into its proper order. All right. 
getting rid of all the guns, getting rid of all the pollution, you know, refreshing everything because it tells you in the scriptures that the earth is going to be refreshed. Right? The Greek word kainos, refreshed. The earth is not going to be ever done away with the earth abide forever pursuant to uh, Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, All right, verse four. All right now, verse uh, six says, blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. All right. Why? Because they ain't going to die. You see, they're going to be here today and they won't t taste of death until they see the son of man coming in his great glory. On such, the second death have no power. And what's the second death? The second death is going to be the nuclear destruction. All right. During the time of World War Three and the coming of our Lord, when the missiles come off, all right, that, 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 uh, the plague, you know, uh, Zechariah 14th, uh, chapter verse 12, it speaks about that plague, right? That, that, that plague being that nuclear fire, that's the second death. All right. That's where the, the, the most high is going to judge this earth by way of fire. The first death, the most high judged the earth by way of water. It says, but they shall be priests of the most high and of the, of, of Yahweh shot and shall reign with him a thousand years. That's right. A thousand years to get this earth back in order. All right. And then after that thousand years, uh, the, 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 the seed of Esau, okay, they're going to be exterminated right, pursuant to the uh, book of Obadiah. Now, I brought out the uh, Romans, the 15th chapter, the things written for time of our learning, right? That we may have hope. Let's read that one more time. You know, bear with me. Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So this is where we're going to hope in. We're going to hope that we are of the elect and we're going to get called up when the time comes. Now, this is Genesis, the fifth chapter. And this chapter goes into the uh, the uh, genealogy of Adam, particularly the the uh, the seed of uh, the, of the righteous. All right, descendants of Adam. This is the righteous uh, seed line of Adam because Cain comes from Adam too, but Cain's line was the wicked. So when you go down to verse, all right, this is uh, verse 18. And Jared lived 162 years and begat Enoch. All right, so when you jump down uh, to Enoch, um, so like when you jump down to uh, Genesis 5 and 20, Two, it says, and Enoch walked with God and after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 365 years. And Enoch walked walked with the Most High and he was not for the Most High took him. All right. So Enoch followed after the ways of righteousness. All right, he was a righteous uh, servant. OK. And, and when you look at this in another translation. In the NLT, it says, walking in close fellowship with God. Then one day he disappeared because God took him. He took him up. He, 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 he took him up. Now, when we go to Hebrews, when we go to, uh, when you go to Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verse 5, it says, by faith, all right, and we're coming in that same uh, stead. We're walking in faith. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. So he, he didn't see death and was not found because the Most High had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High. And that word translate means, uh, when you go into it, it means transported. He was he was taken up. All right, it says, for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. And doesn't it, doesn't it say that um, there's a testimony? That, that that's going to give us the victory revelation 12 and uh, 11 and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony you see and they love not their lives to the death so the word of our testimony is how we're going to get the victory and part of that that victory and that overcoming all right it's getting delivered the lord said him that endure to the end the same shall be saved all right because with the tribulation and, and the great perils that's coming in this earth you're going to need physical saving you're gonna need salvation we're gonna need to get out of here you see so and I, it's funny because i actually did a video about uh testimony i did a video going into uh our testimony and it didn't for some reason it didn't save but so that was one example of one of our forefathers being taken up all right by faith and then when you go to second kings the second chapter, the title says, Elijah taken, taken to heaven. All right, and this is the prophet Elijah. 
All right. Um, from the northern kingdom, he was an Ephraimite. You go down to, matter of fact, when you start at the first verse, it says, And it come, came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind. All right, and that word, uh, the words would take up. When you go into the blue letter, Allah, it, it means to ascend, to go up, to ascend, you see? So, this is speaking of Elijah physically getting beamed up, what you call being, getting beamed up. Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah, this happened. You see, now when you jump down to verse, verse, verse 9, and it, mm, Let's get straight to the point. Verse 11, and it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. You see, so Elijah was beamed up. He was taken up. This is where they get these things from in these different movies and Star Treks and, you know, all of these different things. They get these things from the scriptures. These things, these things really happen. These are not, this is not a, a fairy tale. This is not just some good, cool, creative story somebody came up. This is an account of something that really happened. I right, we just read that Romans fifteen, the things written the full time before our learning, all right, that that we through hope may have may have uh, a comfort, all right, in faith. These, these things build up our faith and our hope. All right, that that word hope goes into our expectation. All right, we, we're we're expecting, we're believing, we're trusting that these things can happen again. They happened before, right? Verse 12, and Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof, and he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them into two pieces. So, yeah, man, these things happen, and, and we just read the accounts of what happened. So let's go back to uh, Revelation 20th chapter, because this, again, this is the first resurrection. All right, so Revelation... Uh, 26, blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. On such, the second death hath no power. So this is our hope. This is what, we, we, this is what we're trusting and believing all right, and having faith in. Because anything in this world, you can't. there's nothing in this world to have faith and, and trust in. You can't have trust in man. You can't have trust in this system. You can't have trust in this justice system. We're not going to get justice from an unjust judge. All right, so we have to... Trust and, and believe and and and, uh, and have comfort and, and abide in, in these scriptures, man. Abide in the secret place of Yahweh by Shemia All right, so I just wanted to go into this real quick while I had the spirit on me, Lord willing. It was that a fine.